I'm gonna Not cast any? Conjure Beer. I'm gonna get another <laughs> beer. That sounds like a good plan. That's... Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, he made a save. God damn it. Well, he still takes six. Okay. And then, um, I have a bonus action, I guess. Oh, that's my last one. I will hang on to it. Never mind. So that's it? Yep. Alright. <coughs> oh, man. Uh, I don't have, I can't get a shot, because people are, ju like, uh, I mean, you can take, take one. Oh wait, I got moving in. Shoot me back, so five, ten, and I'll shoot uh, Ray of Frost at him. Okay. And then move back to where I was. And uh, that will hit him. Sweet. He's got low AC. Or maybe Martin took sympathy because you guys just hosed me really good. Oh, I don't take sympathy. I want to kill one of you tonight. <laughs> Damn it. You're a terrible DM. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, uh, Kevin, can you mute your mic when you're not talking? Thank you, sir. Alright, Fergarg. Um, so Fergarg is going to step behind Baron and attack him. Okay. Natural 20. <laughs> so I, on that, alright, so hold on. So I rolled, I rolled a 3. Natural 20. So I rolled a 3 on that one. So I'm re-rolling the 1. So, so that's going to be 9 plus... Um, oh, you didn't change your macro yet to do the reroll? No. So, so that's going to be 12 to 22 damage from that, and then Fergar is going to use his last spell slot to smite him. Okay. And a reroll that damage roll. Oh, I forgot to do the damage thing for that on that one. So then 7, so 30 damage. <laughs> okay. He like puts his palm on Bar Baron's head and just kind of puts him down and then just right over top. Just <laughs> but that's like that's all my stuff though. He's still up and he seems pissed. Oh my god, this dude good. is beefy. That's all I got. I don't know how smite works, but does it uh does it get doubled on critical two or not? Um, I don't know. Like if it's a separate thing. It wouldn't, but if it's additional dice to your damage roll, then I would expect they would get doubled on a crit just the same as like sneak attack or anything else. Um, I figured that out. Let's see, divine smite. Whenever you hit a creature with a melee attack, you can expend one paladin spell slot to deal radiant damage to the target, in addition to the weapon's damage. Is he undead, Martin? He is. So he takes an additional 1d8. <laughs> and so with that, do you think that from that reading that, he, that that would be doubled? I'm pulling it up to read. I think all of that should be doubled. This is your Divine Smite. One spell that's allowed to do radiant damage to target in addition to the weapon stand damage. 22. Well, you guys look that up. I'm gonna go to the restroom. Okay. Critical hit is 196. <clears throat> when you score a critical hit, you get to roll extra dice for the attack's damage against the target. Roll all of the attack's damage dice twice and add them together. Then add any relevant modifiers as normal. Mm -hmm. For 
If the attack involves other damage dice, such as from a rogue sneak attack feature, you roll those dice twice as well. Alright. So roll an additional 3d8, reroll less than 2. Yes, it will definitely crit. Rolling the dice. Is it rolling the dice? There it goes. Oh, nice. So 32 plus 19, um, well, 42, 51. Damage, so give me the new damage. Oh, so an additional 19 damage. Okay, he's still up. Did, you see you already got the other stuff. Did you also get the third D8 that you rolled? <laughs> That's <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, 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 I got yeah. that one. That's ridiculous. He just did like 51 fucking damage. How much HP does so much have? He's, He's actually taken 62 damage to be to be completely accurate. He right. is. Baron, you're up. And <laughs> you have an ogre at your back. Are you shooting into melee? No. Oh my bad. No, I don't have my bow. I have my dagger. Okay, that's, that's your. No, that's... You add all those for your dagger as well. Uh, minus one, so nine. To hit? Uh, that, is that your to hit nine? Yes. It'll hit. <laughs> it hit. <laughs> it, it hit. Wow! Holy shit! He's got high HP, man, but he's got hardly any armor class. Sweet, and he's undead. So fuck you. Um, so I will hit him with the dagger. Okay. What's the one, damage? 1d4 plus 4 plus the 1d8 because he's already been wounded. So, so 8 plus 5. So 13. Okay. Ugh, step. Still up. Mother! Are you moving? Hell yeah, I'm moving. <laughs> you know he'll get an attack of opportunity him. on you, right? Behind him. I don't think you can move through enemy squares. Um, I haven't I'm seen going for it, but in B's campaign, one of the characters has been making acrobatics rolls to do it, but I don't know if that's... Yeah, that's normally the way it is in 3.5. I can't remember right. if it would it's, it's not in the rules. It's completely up to the DM. Okay. Okay. Um, I will allow, I've always liked the ability to be able to acrobatics to be able to tumble through their square, but um, if you don't make a good roll, then you will, you, will fall, you will stay in your current space and be prone. Wow, this index really, really sucks hard. I look at acrobatics, it says C dexterity. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Alright. <laughs> All right, Kevin. So I guess I'll, I'll just go ahead and get on my belly. Yeah, that's not gonna be good enough. You're gonna be prone in the in the current square. Does my ward come up and lick me in the face as I fail utterly? <laughs> uh, it, yeah, it's it's licking at you, and whining and crying. <laughs> Damn it! All right, Faradil. All right, well, since Baron is prone, hmm. is it possible to go stand over him, or is he still kind of blocking that space? You still can't sit at share a square with an ally. But you can um, shoot over top of me, right? Yeah. Throw things over top of me? If I moved no. in and attacked and then moved back out, is that okay? Or is the attack, since the attack happens while I'm there, is that stopping? Um, I'm going to say no. Alright, so I do have javelins. So I will throw a javelin. Okay. Cast Phil. He'll have cover from Fergarg. Yep. For theatrical purposes, I like to feel like I was trying to like roll behind the bugbear, but I tripped on my own feet, so I smacked my face as the spear went over my back. <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally rolled twice. It was really, really slow. Okay, so the first one, uh, it's still, well, the cover, no, it doesn't hit. All right, and that's it. Okay. That's his turn. Uh, I'm sorry, Baron, but he's gonna get. He has to go for you. He doesn't have reach like Ferg. He doesn't have reach like Fergarg. He could teabag me right now. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> nah, if I couldn't, if I couldn't let Joe share your square, he can't either. <laughs> and uh, if he gets advantage since you're your friend, oh, my yeah. fucking belly. 
I should be able right. to save to see if I can roll on my back. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's gonna hit. That's a twenty-nine to hit. <laughs> this is not a crit. It's not a crit. Wow. Oh, thank God. <laughs> the damage. Boy, got so many hit points. Damage is ten bludgeoning. And then he like bellows, but he doesn't move. I would like to make a dex roll to see if I can just roll out of the way and take half damage. Vishla, your turn. All righty. Take these four, Kevin. Well, I guess I will just can trip him. He can falls over. Um. <laughs> hey, real quick, I just want to let you guys it. know that the uh, the thunderstorm that I was talking about earlier is rolling through. So if I lose internet or whatever, I'm sorry. I'll okay. catch you guys next week. I'll let you die. Yes. <laughs> You're an asshole. Love you. <laughs> Take care of my Dusty. <laughs> care for my right dust. now, he is being taken care of by two lovely ladies and two dudes. Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds terrible. Is he coming up? Are they? Are you guys coming up for a Renaissance Fair? Uh, I am not. I'm going to drink beer with Colby and the news team. Yeah. Well, uh, Johnson probably won't be there. But oh, what a I, know. I think it's just you, me, and Bryce. I don't know if Matt Kelly's going. I should ask him. All right. So, you, let's see. For the save, he does make the save. So, no effect. But he takes... Oh, is it no effect? Yeah. The save success, no effect. said Aaron's turn unless Vishal oh. is doing any movement. Yeah, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, all I heard was any movement. Are you moving? No. Okay. No, uh, son! No! I'm going to move here, so I got some line of effect there. Around okay. And with his AC being so low, I don't feel like I need to do this, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gambling man, and I'm going to gamble for something big here. So I'm going to cast... Uh, as my bonus action, I'm going to turn my last first level spell into sorcery points, and I'll have just enough to bust out one more level two spell for the day. And I'm going to cast Scorching Ray, all three okay. rays going at him. Okay. The first one's going to have advantage, and I'll proc my Wild Blood. So I'm going to roll it three times. I'm going to scoop my Ward Cup in close to me and shield oh. him from all the heat. Okay. So it's a 20 so, to hit, a 17 to hit, and a 21 to hit. They all three hit. So 6, 8, and 10 damage. So let's see. 8. Alright, so. So it's 24. Fire. It's all fire. Hang on, hang on one second. All right. They're each individual race, so I gotta figure up stuff here. Does, does fire incite like the undead to go crazy? Like Frankenstein's like fire. Sometimes they're weak to it. Yeah, I haven't seen you get upset by it. Yeah, I'm just trying to okay. see if it'll trigger something to do it. Like, he, he, does, he does not go down. All right. Uh, here's all, three, all three of your hey, all three, all three of your rays hit him and did pretty good amount of damage. And there was a point where there is at least. On two of the rays, where it looked like for sure he was gonna go down, and then he like shook his head and was like, Rah! "Okay, so for the next minute, all my spells with a casting time of one action have a casting time of one bonus action." No. Okay. So, is he a frenzy berserker? <laughs> Wait, what was that? Can't the turn. Yep. Nice. He basically he can cast spells as a bonus action. Just him. Yeah, for the next yeah, nice. night. Yeah, so I'm gonna be like... Frostbolt! Frostbolt! Alright, Fergarg. Alright, so Fergarg is out of juice, but is just going to do the normal attack him. Hit him. He's done. He, we just need to make him fail a save. Does a 9 hit? That no. is... a natural 1, though, so... It does hit. Uh, well, no, if it's a natural 1, it doesn't. Oh, that sucks. Yep, are, so we playing, are we playing by those rules? 
I'm not gonna have like critical failure, but yeah, one is definitely miss. Okay. All right, Baron. Yep, Baron, you're up. All right, so does it take my action to get back on my feet? It doesn't take your action. You it takes half the movement. That's fine. I'll stand back up on my feet. And Joe, so do you know on top of your bed, like in 3.5, it used to be that uh, to stand up it would actually provoke an attack of opportunity. Do you recall whether or not that does still in 5e? It does not. It just takes okay. half of your movement. Okay. All right, half, then go. Half of your speed. Does yeah. mine hit? Um, yes. All right, here we go. Uh, plus four, so seven. Plus five, twelve. Well done, damage total. Okay. He goes down. And yeah, as he boys. goes down, I want to drive my dagger down and look at the compass. All right. Okay. So I know, I know before. Wait, north, I know before we were like, hey, we should keep pressing on and everything. But I'm fucking done. I'm, I'm, I'm gassed out. I got. We, we gotta see what's on the other side of the door. We do gotta see what's on the other side of the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking point, nor am I gonna <laughs> help in any more battles. I have 13 HP. I'm hurting. Like I, I show visible signs. Do you have of a wounds. potion? Do you have a potion of healing? No, I'm out. I need some more. Come on, let's do see us on the other side of the door. Do rangers get spells back on a sh on a long rest or a short rest? I have one more. Like, one uh, one one more hit knock or short rest. Well, do you have any, like, if, if, I don't know if rangers are like this, but druids and warlocks get their spells back on a rest. Do rangers. Warlocks get it. I don't think druids get it, all, their full spells back. <coughs> they get, well, they get a certain amount. Yeah. I, Wizard has that, too, uh, where they get a certain amount, but they don't, like, warlocks the only one that gets all their spells back. Yeah. Yeah. I, I doubt any partial casters get that. You regain all expended spell slots when you finish the long rest. Okay. So, no, you're screwed. <laughs> Alright, well the room that he came out of just like smells and stinks to high heaven, but there's like nothing in there. Alright, that's the guard door. Let's do this. Um so That's the bugbear room. Let's search the bugbear. Okay, make your investigation. Come on, I've been rolling shit all night. Give me something. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'll help you. No, I won't. <laughs> I've literally been rolling shit all night. Literally? Ugh. It's all over <laughs> your hands. It, it is. Like, and I was questioning if it was the warg that was doing it to me. I'm like, I'm going to teach you some <laughs> table manners, but... <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, um, that's nasty. All right, Kevin. So you find on the bugbear, you find ten silver pieces. That's one. That's wonderful. You rolled a seven, dude. You're lucky you found that. <laughs> write that in my notes under more <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in great blood promise. Alright. Alright, what are you guys doing? Opening the door. <laughs> Is Fergarg opening the door? Um Baradil? <laughs> Isn't that your job, Baradil? <laughs> and yeah, you can all the go carefully move forward toward the door. Okay. <laughs> Um, someone else come with Bardo. Vergar <laughs> <laughs> I mean, will come. You know I'll come. I'm, I'm, I like right, you guys. So are you opening the door, Bardo, or are you bashing it down like you've done in the previous? <laughs> I'm, just this saying, that's question. That's, I'm just saying that's had a profound effect on your uh, exploration <laughs> method. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's been knowing that you're coming. So I, <laughs> I will say that we have killed a lot of people because of you smashing down doors. Let's do it. <laughs> Bust them in. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many enemies I wouldn't have even known where to find you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I mean, I don't think if, if no one was telling me to do otherwise, I think I kind of carefully walk up to the door and then smash it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to look at him and be like, Shh, and just he looks at me and goes, "Got it." <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, Here's Baradil! Open this to a hallway, Baradil. Because, I mean, that would just go right in line with my whole, like, there are big ass outside. Crazy! Alright, so it opens up into a hallway, Baradil. Alright, I'm now carefully and quietly moving forward. Okay. <laughs> be sneaky. Look, you guys can be stealthy. <laughs> Alright, so then it ends in there and you see a door to the north and a door to the south. Let's do it. Carefully. Carefully. Go all the way up to the north door. Okay. <laughs> Smash the door. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> nice. Hot tub. <laughs> Alright, so you see. The walls, floor, and ceiling of this chamber are covered in, like, white marble tile, and it's all, like, sparkly clean. Uh, in the middle of the room sits a 5-foot by 10-foot pool of clear water, uh, and on the northwest stands an unlit iron brazier. <laughs> water. It's clean, clean marble until Barda walks in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up, man. Boring. All right, so, now... At this exact moment, place your tokens on the board exactly where your character is in case you neglected to move them. Everybody? Yes. Put your character, including Cheryl. Oh, I don't know where the hell she is. She's Cheryl! Over. I, think you, I think you left her up in the torture room. Cheryl. She's, yeah, she's still guarding the door. <laughs> Bad Cheryl. You bring her ass. Come on. <clears throat> I'm saying she ain't done dick during that bugbear fight. Alright, so you guys are exactly where you are right now? Yep. Cheryl is sitting on Vishal's face. I'm Cheryl. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> In inappropriate. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, then everybody can make a perception check. Good lord. As you hear. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> where the fuck yeah. is Yeah! I got the touch. <laughs> you got the yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I do want to hear some Transformers music right now. <laughs> I can see you from got the touch. <laughs> All right, you got the I'm just waiting for like the brazier to light up and a, and a devil to come up and say, "So I hear you've been looking for me." <laughs> <laughs> I hear you need a soul, like a soul here in jail. Yes, the sir. brazier does light up, Joe. Okay. Okay. And the room, like, immediately starts getting warmer. Uh-oh. Um, and then you see, like, there's a, the, there's a reflection in the pool where you're standing next to it, but it's not you. It's, like, this uh, redhead, beautiful human woman. But it's Thursday, um, not Monday. And then, let's see. We're not at a crossroads. In addition to that, Fergar, you will hear the, you will hear the same thing. Um, you'll like what Baradil's about to hear. You'll hear a female voice that says, um, "There's no need for further violence today. Come into my chamber. Let's talk." Fergar's like, er, "It's the devil!" And I push Aaron <laughs> out of the way and bust in. Well, Fergar, a point of reference, actually, Baradil heard that in that room. You actually heard it coming through the closed door to the south. All right. Well, Fergar's busting up in the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if this open the door. If this bitch starts talking. Yeah, I already the there. Like runs in here. I got one second. I'll get it. <laughs> All right. So the irony is that my assumption was that to enter her chamber, I would have to go through the water. <laughs> 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 All right. So if it's fine for you. You'd be like, it's a little warm. <laughs> All right, so JJ, uh, this chamber is uh, is like smooth plaster walls that are painted purple. Um, okay. There are um, delicately crafted silver lanterns that flicker softly on the wall that are uh, providing light to this room. Okay. There's, there's a shelf to the north that has a bunch of books and statues and stuffed animals on it. 
Um, there's also a crystal ball on there, two small chests. Um, there is a five foot wide landscape um, painting of the colony as if you're coming into it from the sea. Okay. Um, all of the ships in the harbor have flags showing a uh, serpentine dragon that's pulled around a lotus flower. Nice. Um, you see there's a pair of overstuffed chairs that sit in here um, beside a low table. Uh, the table has got like fruits and bottle of wine like stacked on it. Um, and then to the south of the room there's a wooden cupboard. Uh, the floor is like deep, like thick um, shag purple carpet to it in there. <laughs> okay. Um, and the door to the south is open and looks like it leads into a bedroom. Oh. I'll go ahead and just. Uh, I see a dragon. Right. Sitting in one of the chairs is a woman, red of hair. Let's see if I can find her here. Red of skin like a devil woman. <laughs> <laughs> So you see a, a red-headed woman sitting there in the chair. Yeah. Um, she has... Uh, Let me find her... That's awesome. ...description here. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, rip them out? Or All right, like... so yeah, you, you see it. She's a human, long red hair that's tied back in a ponytail. Right, right. Um, she's got green eyes. Um, and she has a tattoo on her, uh, right shoulder okay. of a, uh, of a dragon that is coiled around a lotus flower, and it's, like, coiling down her arm as well. Um, in her bedroom, you can see that there is a, uh, like a medium-sized green lizard creature. Okay. Um, and Colby's already mentioned that she has a pet dragon. It looks like it fits that description. Right. Um. <laughs> so yeah, that's what you see. Thanks. That's what you see when you come in. She says, "Ah, yes, that's far enough, please." I'm when like, I saw the token with red skin. I really thought that was going to be a devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So Fergar's going to be like, "Are you devil?" I am no devil. I am. I am merely. Uh, a human woman that is that has aspirations for this colony. I wish uh, only the best for it. He says, Fergog's like, do you know where to talk to devil? If a meeting with the devil is something you desire and it will end the violence, I could probably arrange it. Sounds good. Baradil is stepping into the pool of water. <laughs> Baradil, <laughs> we, we, Baradil, found person what's, who can help us meet devil. What's, what's the name of the guy... What, what's Dude. the name of the guy we're looking for? I forget. Va Vanthus. Vanthus. We want Vanthus. Are you calling that out from the hallway? Yeah. She says... Okay, she's like, Oh, so you guys are Latvinia's flunkies then. She's like, <laughs> I, see, I see his uh, tale of your demise was exaggerated. He tried. Whoa, and whoa. failed, apparently. You must be formidable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We get off topic. We want to know where Devil is. <laughs> she says, well, we are in negotiation. Okay. Fergarg, not no she word. She says, do not, she says, do not mistake my, uh, my desire for to end the violence as that I wouldn't be capable of ending each and every one of your lives now. But I don't want to do that. You've proven yourself capable. You, I have plenty of money to be able to rebuild this guild. But I would much rather extend you an offer. Join me. Give up on your quest with Latvinia and join me instead. She says, in exchange, I will make you partner in the guild. And I will give you all... She says, with that... Hang, hang on, I can't, I can't process what you're saying and finish my, my reading of my prep notes. Uh, she, she says, in if you were to accept it, 
you would have all the rights and privileges of a partner of this guild, um, which would come with uh, plenty of knowledge, power, and of course money. Uh, and she says, and I would be glad to share with you any information I have that will help you be able to do anything that you need that would not continue to further the agenda of Latvinia or the Dawn Council. She says, you may take a moment to consider it. What it is you actually do here? I lead this guild. What is a guild? What guild do? I only see bandits. Well, bandit is such a harsh word. I like to think of us as liberators. We just take what we need in order to be able to further our agenda. That was Fergar Goldway and the people tell him stop. Well, those people were foolish. Mm. As an ogre, you could have anything you want. You could have the world. And I could help you get it. Mishla's ears are burning. <laughs> yeah. uh, what were you going to say? Fergar gave up that life long ago. What so. about the dragon? Technically, only Fergar can see the dra a dragon at the moment. Well, Bear moved into the room. Well, if, if you tried to move in the room, she would have told you to stop or a negotiation stop. Like, she told, she told Fergar when he stepped in, that was far enough. This is like, Fergar not care too much for being partner or whatnot. Fergar only want to know where Devil is. If others want to do other stuff, they they their own people. She, she says, Fergar is it? Yep. She says, well, Fergar, I will personally see to getting you an audience with a Devil of your choice if you were to join me. Um, no, Fergar can no join, but Fergar trade stuff for Devil meeting. Hmm. We can maybe talk about that. Let me hear what your companions have to say on the subject first. Okay, and then I'll step out. We're we're flattered by your offer, truly. It's it's a it's a it's a great offer. Make but, no mistake, uh, if you don't accept the offer, then the violence has to continue. Well I would like to see each and every one of you escape with your lives. But I don't think that's gonna happen if you don't join me. <laughs> well see that's that's the thing. We don't really have an interest in you and what you're doing. I mean, you, you don't can... even know what I'm doing. Whoa, well, whoa, and we whoa. don't care. Don't I mean, speak he might. for me. He, he might, but we're really just after that guy. What guy? Uh, I, I can't I can't remember his name. I gotta write it down. Dude, I'm bad with names. So we we just really want Banthus. We were we were we were employed. We were given a job, and you know. I see. So you want Vanthus to take him back to his sister? Yeah, pretty much. Well, before you added that in there, I was prepared to hand him over to you, but if you're just going to turn him over to her, no, I can't do that. Well, why not? Because she is counterintuitive to my goals for this colony. Please hmm. explain your goals in full. I wish to rule this colony. The... Dawn Council that is already uh, that is already here, they bring corruption from the old world with them. They are not fit to be able to, ru to rule this colony. I am. She of makes course, some good points. And she says, and of course, my partners, they would be the new council that would be established over this colony. Oh, um. She is playing my song, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, she is playing the, the, you. The thing is, though, is her song is the exact antithesis of what JJ's character stands for. <laughs> well, that's going to be a problem. She, sa she says, how much is Miss Vanderborn paying you to come and fetch her brother? Well, I don't think we're at liberty to discuss the details of our contract with one employee with potential competing clause. I see. Letter. She says, I see. Letter of the law kind of guy. Oh, well, you know. I've accidentally, well, I purposefully killed one man today. Uh, I, I need to bond my P's and Q's for a bit. I have to, I'll be right back. This is very important, but I have to be right back. She says, why? 
Why do you have to mind anything? If you were a partner here, you could do what you want. You could take. Yeah, what but I don't, I don't want to take. Why not? Well, because it doesn't feel right. Right? What does right have to do with anything? It has a lot to do with stuff. She says all that matters is what benefits you. It doesn't get more right than that. It, it does, though. Like, if what benefits me benefits me might hurt a little kid. And I, I, even though I got exiled and I got sent to this crazy fucking world, I still don't have a problem with that. But you would, you would murder people within my, my guild hall that have done nothing to you. Oh yeah, they were all assholes. That's not what I saw. I saw you come into my guild hall and immediately attack them. No, I saw it differently. They attacked us. <laughs> She uh, points to the she points to the crystal ball up on the wall, and she and she gestures with her hand, and you actually see what you got like in like. Damn it, dog! <laughs> <laughs> you actually see. <laughs> no, you see, you see, you see everything that you guys have just done in like super like fast forward, and so like you can see that she's not like making it up. She literally saw everything you guys did, yeah, and she's like, it's David Bowie. She's like she's like self defense, self defense. She. She rewinds back and she goes back to the spiders and she's like, what I see is that undead creature there charging my pets. I saw it as self-defense. You can what see it pet? however you want. It's wrong. It's uh, right here. <laughs> it recorded within my crystal ball. If Joe is talking, I can't hear him. It's just a dragon. Like, if there's not any kind of, like, specific kind of, like... She obviously has an affinity for dragons, but doesn't like have like an affinity for any particular one. It's purple. Thanks, Colby. I, I muted myself. Uh, you say what? Get Tiger. No. Uh, Bard will say, uh, Bard will just want soul back. And she says, what happened to it? Don't remember. Tell him about Devil. She probably can't even see you, Beardil. So, like, if you walk into the room and you're like, Beardil just wants so back. <laughs> <laughs> she can hear you. She can hear you all from the hallway. She, she doesn't have to see you. Oh, she's seeing something. Okay, now I'll, I'll push my way through now that Baron got out of the way. Okay. Beardil just wants so back. She says, and with my influence, I'm sure we could find it. And Fergar yells in the back, Tell her about Devil Trade Soul Thingy. Uh, okay. Um, someone say maybe find Devil and trade one soul for Baradil Soul. She says, Hmm. Yeah. I suppose that would work. It's very dangerous, but it would probably work. Probably would come with its own set of repercussions. I'm sure we could probably find another way for you to get your soul without having to actually make a deal with the devil. She says, okay. such as make taking this deal with me. Uh, I don't think we should work for her. Uh, she say we find my soul. Um. If, if we help her. So, Fergarg, Fergarg okay trade stuff, but Fergarg... One thing Fergard cannot do is be friends with bandits. <laughs> she says, She says, well, don't think of us as bandits. We are liberators of this colony. Um, we're, we're, we are going to make sure that it is built in the proper image. If you promise that no one, no one take anything not theirs, then Fergard join you. She says, of course I would promise that. I would never take anything that I didn't think rightfully belonged to me. Makes sense, <laughs> Fergard. Can, can we roll insight? <laughs> <laughs> Fergard says, you must not be bandit then. <laughs> oh, Aaron, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Uh, Vigilant, uh, yeah, both both of you guys feel like she she's she feels like her words are genuine. 
But I'll remind you, her exact words that she used was that I would never take anything that I didn't genuinely feel belonged to me. That's good enough for Fergarg. I, I support that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, God. Like, for that's how I rationalize all of my behavior. Here's, here's, here's my stance on it. Here's my stance on it. We we can't work for her. We shouldn't work for her. It's not going to be good. She's no, like, JJ, loud, JJ yeah. as a person yeah, okay, knows well, that we shouldn't. Let's not, let's not, let's not put meta conversation in there. Right, right, right. But for, for she says this is the only, this is the this is the offer that I pr that I prefer. Like I said, you all seem very capable. I would love to have you at my side and make sure that you become some of the most powerful beings in this colony, if not this side of the world. Uh, she says, but if such things would not sway your moral code and sense of honor, then. The best I could offer would be leave this place, give up your quest for Vanthus, and leave us to our quest, and I will not pursue any kind of retribution for the murder and mayhem you have brought to my guild hall today. Well, see, that's the problem. Because if we if we gave up our quest, we'd stop being the man of honor that we needed to be to not be part of your guild. She says, I love that you would call yourself a man of honor after you just <laughs> murdered my, my entire guild hall. Yeah, well, specifically, uh, the only one I think I, I actually murdered that. <laughs> was that guy in the hallway. Fergard murdered a bunch of bandits. She says, nope. That is false. She goes back to the orb again, and she shows, like, uh, two of the guards in, that were in the training dummies to go down at your hands. Yeah, I don't see that as murder. How was it not? <laughs> they were minding their own business in, in that a, room. In a you training opened? dummy? They yeah. even allowed you to enter the room and did nothing to you until the ogre came in and started cutting them. Because that's how you do an ambush. Anyways, listen, listen. Uh, <laughs> thank you for thank you for your offer, but we're still gonna go after Vanthus. And uh, you know you're cool and all, but uh, I'm gonna decline. She says, "Does this one speak for all of you?" Uh, no. she promised she not banned it. She said she promised not take anything not hers. But so... as soon as she decides that she wants yours to be hers, she's gonna take you. No, she promised. I'm not hers. She says, so, Fergarg, until she decides would, that she, she wants says, you to be. She says, Fergarg, I would never take anything from you. See, she promised. I want you, I want you to have oh. the world. Fergarg not want world. Fergarg just want to help Beardale get soul. Okay, well, if you don't want the world, how about the colony? Um, Listen, guys. I'm not, saying this out loud. Listen, guys. She wants to help Beardale get his soul. <laughs> <laughs> She's promising not to do anything that upsets Fergarg. She's offering to allow us a place in making this colony something we can be proud of. Rather than just working for somebody who has money and gets to tell us what to do, she's offering us the opportunity to do something. For for the record, just meta, this is probably going to come back and like like bite for Garg and probably get him killed at some point. But, this is a total Wolfram and Hart situation. <laughs> this makes you guys feel any better. This was designed to like completely make you guys all conflicted. <laughs> right. So, down, to the, down to the words that she's using. Listen, Fergard, my friend. Yes? Okay. What she wants to do is take you away from Moonslicer. She wants you to turn away from the path that you started on. She, she, says, that is, she says that is a lie. I want to take nothing from you, Fergard. No. You don't. You're not. You're not going to take it physically from him, but you're going to corrupt him to the point where he goes back to his old ways. I Fergard. would never do such a thing. Fergarg would be free to act as he sees fit. He would Fergard. be an equal partner after all. Fergarg very confused. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fergarg, Fergarg believe both people, but both people say different stuff. Fergarg not know what to do. Fergarg, make an insight check. Here we go. This ought to be good. <laughs> yeah, please roll. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Fergard, you are, you are confused. Um, Baradil, what you think? You smart. You can say whatever you want, Baron. I noticed that you had a dragon tattoo. Wait a second. Wait a second. Where did we find Cheryl? In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Was she being mistreated? No. She, she was had just a there. She, she had a hammock in there, and she said that she was the cook. She said okay. that she was taken against her will initially, but that you know she had a pretty like that they were nice to her here. 
Well, I'm going to look at Cheryl and be like, Cheryl, can you vouch for any of what she is saying? She says, I've never met her before, but it all sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> what would Arthur do, Cheryl? Mm. WWAB. Arthur, Arthur would say, if there is a way for us to get our own hoard of treasure and power to go along with it, then we should totally do that. Out of the mouths of babes. I like this Arthur guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then she continues on. She's like, the, she's like the tenants of Arthur in th in, in chapter three, six, sixteen, five. And like, <laughs> how long has Arthur been with you, Patty? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I seriously don't know. How long has Arthur been with you? Since like the second uh, session. Since early. the beginning. In game, it's been maybe weeks. Or no, yeah. it's probably it's probably been months because they got him on the they got him on the island halfway here. So it's probably been months, maybe. <laughs> wow. Now, Joe, you weren't here for it, but Colby, the the kobold's name, his first kobold is not named. Arthur, he renamed him Arthur like he did Cheryl, yeah, yeah, I got and then that. when he did like the kobold's eyes got like, bright and glossy and was like, you would give me such a sacred name? <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, so Fergarg so, Fergarg, so Baron, you stay. Drop something? What were you going to say? I, I, I called out in the hallway that I, I noticed a, a dragon tattoo and I asked if she had an affinity for dragons. She says, well, my guild is called the Lotus Dragons after all. Um, she's like, I, I think that they are beautiful and majestic cre creatures. Um, and so, I'll... finally, something and we agree on. <laughs> beautiful and majestic. Interesting. Yeah. And does beautiful and majestic include employing undead bugbears? Well, that was a necessary precaution. You guys were, in fact, cutting through my thieves, uh, I, like they were, like you were a hot knife through butter. And, but you uh, do so, command death, correct? Um, I do what I have to do to preserve my life. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, she actually, she actually does like follow that up, and she's like, "You do you not travel with an undead companion?" Yeah, Barrow do good. She says, "Would you, would you actually speak in bigotry to me?" When you travel with one that is no different than my personal guard. That makes sense for her guard. Baradil, nice. So, yeah, undead. No undead. <laughs> Baradil is in, in, in search of a soul. He still carries his remnants of humanity. I felt nothing in that bugbear. It felt unnatural. Uh, oh. Quick out-of-character question. Martin, do I know anything about bugbears? <laughs> um, you can make a knowledge nature, I guess. Did you have that? Or I'm unskilled not proficient in it. Unskilled yeah. intelligence, then, see if you think of anything. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, you won't. You've never even heard of such a creature. <laughs> what the fuck are those? <laughs> Stupid sounding name for creature. <laughs> <laughs> she's a, uh, Sound she's like a, small bear that you squish underfoot. <laughs> she says, point in fact, I can tell from the animosity in your voice when you talk about dragons that you do not have any love for them. I don't expect you as a partner to necessarily love them. Of course, you'll have to take their name as part of being part of the guild. She says, but, again, you travel with a kobold. They are descendants of dragon blood. And I asked with just vicious, just a vicious tone, uh, have you ever felt dragon's fire? And I'll start uttering curses in, in uh, Elvish. Um, she says... I have not felt dragon's fire, no. Might I inquire as to the shop above that we entered this place? The trickery that we we, we endured? Are you behind this? Is this your way of acting? Is this is this your guild that, that runs this area? I know not what it is you speak, but when you say the shop above, I assume you mean the taxidermy shop. I do? She says... I do not scry that area. She says, I am only concerned with my holdings. What, uh, she gives a name, I forget his name, but she's like, what he does with his shop is his business. He is just to protect the entrance. He is an employee that is paid to make sure that nobody that does not have clearance moves through to the entrance. But you do employ him. I do, 
and she says, and I take responsibility if he did you any wrong, but, uh, and I would offer to compensate you for those wrongs if it were not for the fact that you have clearly done much more grievous things than he could have done to, to you. Listen, what if I just pay you some gold for all these chaps? That should be enough to get you back on your feet, right? How much, how much are you offering? I, I, will, I will entertain your counter offer. How much are you offering? Uh, we'll say 10 gold per minion. <laughs> She's like, uh, <laughs> well, let's face it, they weren't very good. She She's, says, Aaron, let me get this straight. She's offering to give us money and power, and your counter offer is how about we take no power and give you money? <laughs> And she says, and paltry sum at that. She's like, each one of those men carries more gold than that on them. Not true. Fergar only oh, counts seven on most. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Fergar wouldn't have said that because he wouldn't pay attention. But I thought it was funny. She says, well, um, time is running short. She says, uh, Let's. I guess she, we'll put she, it to she, a vote. Yeah, she says, uh, Mr. Lark, is it? She says, has already decided that he does not want to partner with this guild. What say the rest of you? I'm gonna beat this bitch and wear a dragon's ass like a hat. Um, Virgarg sound like good deal. <laughs> Kevin, are trying. you? Kevin, do you say that? No, I can't say that out loud. <laughs> I'm I'm in the hallway. I'm in the hallway giving everybody like a firm like. <laughs> All right. So Fergar is saying it sounds like a good deal, but he's not. He hasn't said he t he's taking the deal. Bardo won't take deal, but Bardo not want to go without Fergar. I'll go with Bardo. Let's go. We find your soul. Yay! She says. So you two will join me then and partner as the Lotus Dragon. If if you help us find if you can help us find soul and promise not take anything, um, like you say, she says I give you my word that I will give I will use every bit of influence and power I have to help you find the soul. Good enough for Fergarg. Okay. She says, "What about you? Is it uh, Vishima?" Hi. Good idea. Hello. <laughs> says, so you will join us then. Gladly. And she says, and uh, I'm assuming from your demeanor, Mr. Baron, that you will not. No, I won't. I'm going to spit. <laughs> I'm going to like... I'm, Such I'm, manners. I'm, well, I'll let you just say what you're going to say to Kevin first. But. She says, well, it seems that we are an impasse here for your entire group. Well, I'm going to like... like Baron's going to say his thing, everybody's going to say their thing, and I'm going to like... Look kind of dejected, looked at the ground, like, give a look at Baron and be like, I guess if they're in, I'm in. <laughs> Hell, with you. Hell with all of you. She Turn says, your backs on everything that's good. <laughs> she says, okay. Fuck she's, you guys, I'm gonna come. She says, well, it seems one of your numbers is not willing to join, and Cheryl's like, no, no, I'll join. She's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, she's like, I'm sorry, I, I completely forgot about you. Of course you may join. She's like, you wouldn't be partner, but since you follow along with uh, your prophet, um, then you can, you can join as part of his quest. Uh, she says, but as I stated, if you're not going to take the deal, I can't allow you to leave with your life. She's like, so my new partners, I'm afraid that first thing we're gonna have to do is Baron cannot leave here alive. Um, you Unfortunate. You, you say <laughs> Fergarg can do what Fergarg wants and not what Fergarg doesn't want when he partners, so Fergarg chooses not to. Well, then you do not have to kill him, Fergarg. You can just Thank you. stand back and allow it to happen. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry if that offends anybody, but I'm just... I'm she says, here, let me make it easier for you. And she, like, waves her hand, and the door to the sauna room that you're in shuts and closes. And closes. Oh, man. Like. She's like, there. And you hear this from the pool now. And she's like, there. 
You don't have to see anything. You don't have to do anything. Enjoy the relaxation of my spa. Um... Fergarg's like, uh, what Fergarg do? Uh, so he's just gonna stand there and be like... She's like and she's like, now, the rest of you, kill him. <laughs> Alright, so, is any, if, let's, I'm not gonna make anybody make a decision right now. Let's roll initiative. And then everybody can make a decision in case anybody actually wants to do something about this. Please roll 20. If there was anything <laughs> ever that I needed in my life, it would be a net for 20 on this initiative. God <laughs> damn you, Aaron, you son of a bitch. You're not going to beat my initiative. <laughs> yeah, close. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. All right, is everybody in? Yep. All right. Aaron, you're first. I cast Blade Ward. Okay. Holy shit. Baron. Sure. So this dash action? <laughs> <laughs> Can I GTFO? Uh, I mean, sure, you're, you're in the back. So, I mean, you can totally run if you like. Street, street, 30, 40, 45, 50. Oh, God, I'm making a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. 55, 60, 65. Oh, sorry. There we go. There's 60. Wait. Damn it. I don't have a spell. Fuck. <laughs> I need one more spell. I would have cast a spell on myself and been like, boom, got a, gone out of spell. I'm gone. Right. Peace, bitches. Baradil. Oh. Baradil doesn't, doesn't say anything. Just takes off running. Okay. Move your... <laughs> oh, oh, no. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fergarg, are you good? <laughs> um, Fergarg's. Fergarg's gonna be like. Um, what Fergarg do? Um, Fergarg real confused. Um, usually someone usually tell Fergarg what good. Fergarg not know. <laughs> <laughs> I had you make an insight and you failed. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just going to be pacing around in the room being like, Fergarg, like he's starting to get angry because he doesn't know. He broke Fergarg. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like... Fergarg's just like... Dash action in a circular space. Hang on, what's up again? Oh, man. You too. You guys be safe. So yeah, he doesn't know what's what's right or wrong at this point. <clears throat> Alright, so that was Fergar's turn. It is now her turn, and she's gonna say Rock Gut, get him. Oh shit. And she said, but she says, but don't kill him. Leave that to our new partners. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Send that dragon after me. See what I do to so, him. The Where dragon. Like, hey. <laughs> nobody, nobody can see the dragon, so they don't see what he does. Um, and then he goes, see, what is his speed? That motherfucker can warp. I quit. He can't <laughs> warp. Dragons don't warp. There it is. I know. There we go. Five, ten, if anybody's gonna do make a tax opportunity against the dragon, you should let me know. I'm gonna see this dragon go by and I'm gonna go, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is even happening right now? Alright, so the dragon goes to there. Okay. And then, is she going to do anything? Um, let's see. She says, Vishala, are you hurt? Slightly. I just 
realize my new tr my alignment is not law not lawful. No, it's that's why I was wondering. You're a wild mage. I was like, there's no way he's lawful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For some reason, I thought I was lawful. You're just good. Yeah. All right. So she walks up to there and visually she but she she touches you and she says, uh, she says your wounds are mended. Like she, she heals you for already. eight. I like this gal already. All right, your turn, Vishala. All right. Well, first I'm going to command uh, Cheryl to stop the uh, traitor. <laughs> stop the traitor. Uh, it's all. Right. She, she, is, she, look, she looks is, a little. She looks like a little hesitant, and she's like, "Baron." Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Colby, this is totally the opportune moment that you've been waiting for this whole game. Like, <laughs> like buddy cop thing that's been building with you and Kevin. And this is your moment. This is don't fuck this up. <laughs> oh, Kevin, I know you're lawful. Maybe you should have just lied. <laughs> What's her speed? I have a plan. I have a plan. Uh, it's 25. 25. Okay, 25. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I guess she'll dash. Okay. Five. 10, 15, whoops, 20. She can't land on top of Barrel, can she? But she can no. go to the corner here. She can go right there. Okay. Right. Can she? No, because she dashed. She can't yeah. do anything. <clears throat> and then I guess I will... Um, hang on a second. Vishla doesn't really dash for anybody. So, um, still deciding. That's five if I move. Do I have to move? Because we're counting everything at this point. Do I have to move uh, around the corner over Aaron, or can I just count five to there? Um, you can go to there. Okay, five, and fifteen, twenty. Oh shit, guys! I didn't realize we we're already past ten. Do you guys? Yeah. Wanna, do you guys want to pause this now? This is the end of the first turn, or do you want to resolve this? If it's the end of the first turn, it'd probably be a good spot, but it'll let Ke Kevin needs to know, though, if he needs to reroll a character. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> he needs to know what? Well, I mean, we can either resolve it, or Kevin could just prepare another character just in case. True. And then, and then if, it doesn't, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Well, I hate to be the party pooper, but I don't think he can quest with us anymore either way. <laughs> That's true. You might want to go ahead and roll another <laughs> I don't know that there's any really turning back from this. I mean, honestly, all of us should have a character in backup. <laughs> That's true. But particularly Kevin. <laughs> with emphasis on Kevin. I already I've... sent six to Martin. I had five backups. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Guess. Well, you're on the other stage. There's a mystery guest, so he, he, he sent six potential mystery okay. guest spots that could show up, but they weren't necessarily like if hey. Bardell dies, then I come hey. in as this character. I mean, you know, I already got a concept for my, uh, my backup character. It's going to be a 90, an 87 year old monk who weighs 140 pounds. Wait, wait, is he undead? <laughs> he should be. <laughs> You hear Rowan say, he can be. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you, guys, you guys decide, because I don't know what Baron's, I don't know what Baron's plan is, but this could potentially be resolved in like a combat turn or two. Really? Depending on what, I mean, Kevin's already taken damage. Like, if you guys catch up to him and all whack him oh, in one round. Like I'm just, well, I'm just saying, like, it's you versus, like, I just don't know guys? how we're ever gonna catch him, so I feel like it's gonna be six turns of running. Did you did you even pay attention to how fast that dragon moved? I mean, no. Six turns of running. If if we all just actually do our actions quickly, we'll go really quick. Oh, we can we can do it. That's fine. I'm not do going it. anywhere. For uh, but but I I do have to figure something out about my spell because. So it says spell range. Well, because I didn't dash. 
I, I took my normal move action to there. Okay. Technically, he's within 60 feet. Yeah, but, but you don't him. have line of sight on him. Okay. I wasn't sure because it's not. There's only like one diagonal there, so I thought maybe in a strange world I could actually see him from here. No, but, no. Okay. There wasn't a door on that at the end of that hallway, maybe, but. Okay. That's my turn then. All right, Aaron. I will um, draw my rapier, I guess. So on my turn, I'm going to go boop boop, and I'm gonna knock on the door that Fergarg's behind, and I'm uh -huh. gonna be like, "Don't worry, we're just gonna knock knock some sense into him. We're gonna talk to him. We're not gonna kill him. It's, it's gonna be okay, Fergarg." That's that's factually inaccurate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Do kill you? Maybe we can bring you back as a zombie. Well, she said not to kill him, so I'm just. Well, no, 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 no. She, no. She told you guys to kill him. She told rot. She told. Uh, she told gut. Uh, rock gut. Yeah. Uh, she, she, gut tugger. He told. She told to not kill him. To leave him to you guys. Oh, that's not. That gobbler, I, I heard something gobbler. different. <laughs> I'm having difficulty seeing in this hallway though, so I'm gonna cast light. <laughs> okay. For my turn. All right, Baron. Okay. Well. The intent is to try to get into an area as quickly as possible that has multiple routes of egress and then stealth out. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Now you know you move at half speed stealthing, right? Yeah, but it would make it harder for you guys to fucking find me. Well, assuming that there's things for you to hide behind. You can only, I mean, if it's just an open hallway, no matter how much you stealth, if somebody walks into that hallway, they're going to see you if there's nothing for you to hide behind. Now there are ways out, and you can eventually get to them. You just got to think. I presented them. Fifty-five, sixty. That's as far as I got here. Ooh, wait. Mm. No, I can't fucking do that. I'm goddamn warp pup. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Have your puppy. You're gonna keep the puppy, <laughs> even though it might cost you a life. No, I'm gonna kiss him very sweetly and put him down here in this room. <laughs> put okay. him down. You're he starts making me sad. and like if I... stands his ground and he's like and like growling in the direction you came from. I know. I'm gonna miss you, up for now. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna hurt me in my soul, and I hate you guys for this. <laughs> That's straight meta. I hate you all of you right now. Why didn't, me, right? Baron, why didn't you just lie when, they, when your entire party was like, yeah, we join up. That's kind of the point where you're like, yeah, sure, I'll join up. And then when you get out, There's... you're like, fuck this guy, I'm out of here. No way. After all the dragons! <laughs> like, I saw dragons! <laughs> I'm done. Fair enough, fair enough. That's Hey, she was promising to try and make this world a better place, and being a good character, you kind of, you know, you know, could, could go he's with that. He's not a good character. You guys keep thinking he is because of some of the actions he makes, but he's not good. I he's maintain a balance of lawful neutrality, and she has committed a lot of atrocities. <laughs> that She's you bad. Don't you don't any, know what an atrocity is. Like, that you don't have any proof of or anything to substantiate that. You guys just learned to... friends are dragons. You literally... Oh, okay, well, you're, you're being prejudiced. That's fine. But, or racist. <laughs> um, but, uh, but other than that, you guys literally only learned about this guild like <laughs> days ago. And you learned about it from the note of a dead guy who told you that they were a bad, that they were a bad crew. Alright, so we need to do it if we're going to do this. I agree. Yeah. So, Baron did his Baradil, go. Done. Oh, you're within axe throwing distance. <laughs> yeah, but, but by dashing, I... Would you shut up? Yeah, he's yeah. going to get outdoors and stuff. Fergarg. Uh, I'm just standing in the water. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Make a... Oh, I forgot on our short rest. I saw on a rest. Oops. Make a charisma save. Fergarg. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to help you there, Fergarg. I tried. Hey, right, man. So Dragons go. 
You really do want people to die. <laughs> stupid roll 20. Stupid, stupid roll 20, you stupid die rolls. That dragon is gaining on you, bro. Yeah, he, <laughs> goes, he, goes, he goes to right there, which I can't see because that damn thing. He can't share his face with Beardale. Put his ass back one. He's not. He's in the front. He's in front of Beardale. Um. Now, just so you understand what just happened, the dragon has forty foot movement, and when I said before you guys couldn't see what he was doing because nobody was in light and sight, he was casting Expeditious Retreat, which is a bonus <laughs> action. Uh, so he's basically moving seventy feet per round, and still have an action. So he just did that, and he moved to there. <clears throat> but that may be... What... Yeah. Okay, that's not the right book. No, he's not an ancient black dragon. <laughs> Pretty sure. There it is. Uh, Alright, so there's he uh, exhales a 50 foot cone of gas. Um, Berido, or not Berido, um Baron, you need to make a constitution save. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Making it too easy. <laughs> right? Thanks, Roll Plenty. You're the man, best. I was going to say, the, the DC was real low, too. <laughs> Last time on Roll 20. <laughs> it was eight. Oh! <laughs> 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 right, you take 29 poison damage. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, shit. What's the rules, what's the rules of death? If it's like double your... It if, it's a, it has, if, if it takes you to zero, the amount of damage that you have to be dealt beyond zero has to equal your maximum hit points to be insta-kill. So it's if really you hit, tough. Yeah. So if you hit zero, though, you go unconscious and you have to start making death save for it. That's pretty much the end of you yeah, anyway. I'm, I'm out. Yeah. I'm out. I'm done. Does that take you down? Oh, yeah. I'm fucking... Bleh. So you're, are you at zero or are you insta-killed? Yeah. I'm zero, uh, so 13 off that, so 16 okay. points of damage. Okay, I'm... zero just means that we can stabilize you and bring you back. Yeah. Talk some sense into you. Right. Insta kill yeah. means you were, you'd be done. Yeah, you're not insta kill. You're, 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 yeah, you're, oh. you're, <laughs> you're unconscious right now. Yeah, let, so from your point of view, let's see how it yeah. plays out. Vishala. Zero. <clears throat> well, I guess since I like. Uh, Cheryl go first. She'll go first again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The irony, Kevin, is that you're in the exact same room that you almost died in last session. Right? <laughs> it's okay. I know nothing because I'm like Jon Snow. <laughs> you know, you are kind of being stabbed by your uh, brothers right now. For the watch. Ex <laughs> Spoilers! Don't tell nobody! Spoilers! I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting... I'm waiting for somebody. So, so the good news day. is, the good news is, Vishala doesn't run unless he has to. So he's not running; he's just moving. So <laughs> you guys are going to have a couple of rounds before Vishala gets there. Now you won't have a couple of rounds before Cheryl gets there. <laughs> anyway, Thank you, that was my turn. I appreciate right, it, Aaron. All right, since and Aaron's already the one stopped. that's the furthest back. <laughs> <laughs> Since I've already stalled long enough. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay. <laughs> Baron, make your death saving throw. Don't I'm get a shit rolls. Don't Let's get do a one. This. Where are they at? I know they're here somewhere. Just roll a d20. It should be on your core sheet, like the first page of it. A one would just be two fails, not Yeah, all. but Correct. if anybody hits them, that's another fail. Yeah, but a natural dead. twenty, you actually wake up and have right. hit points. Uh, that is this, that is a success. So you have succeeded on one death save. No, I'm still unconscious. Baradil. Yeah, Baradil comes up here and hits him with a great axe. 
<laughs> Go ahead and deal the damage because it could just be an outright kill. Well, I suppose. Uh... Well, but an enemy crit counts as two. Right? Oh, that's true. It's not, so. Yeah, so. That's one success and one failed save. Yep, so you have a success and a failure. Fergarg. So Fergarg is going to start getting like really angry because he doesn't know what to do and start like breaking stuff in the sauna. Okay, make another charisma save. Alright. Oh so you finally break through and let's see here. You still have your G chat open there, JJ? Uh, no. Dude, do now. So Fergarg is going to bust out of this room and attack this lady. Oh no. <laughs> Everything is going to hell. <laughs> oh, no no. Change that, that will hit her. You lie! <laughs> Alright, so 16 damage to her. Did you say you lie because of the stuff I said to you? Um, well, I mean, you're not there. To, well, you might hear it, um, but you might you. I well, you don't know. I'm just I'm just curious. Is that why you said you lie? Um, no, not really. Okay. Okay. So uh, she says. Uh, <laughs> she says I am disappointed in your choices, Fergarg. And then she attacks you. Oh no. It is all going to hell. <laughs> JJ, JJ's like, well, Kevin's got to reroll a character. I will. <laughs> hey. Alright, JJ, so uh, does a 26 hit you? Yep. Let me look here. I'm straight looking at rogues right now. Like it's about to get ugly. When I reroll another character, you guys are going to hate me. What's going what's gonna to suck is that we're going to end up killing you for no reason. We're gonna get back at you attacking Fergarg and that'll probably swing things the other way and then <laughs> Alright, Fergarg, thirteen damage. Alright. And you can make a constitution save. Oh man. Yeah. Okay, so you're good on that. Then she action surges and attacks you again. Okay. Bitch. Alright, so a 22 to hit. Yep. This one is 11 damage. Alright, I go down. Oh, Fergard was hurt. That's right. <laughs> he, just got, he got down and then healed up again. Shit. Okay, guys. Um. We're going to end with, with the dragon and Vishla because now that Fergar did that, that's going to definitely prolong this. Cause she, uh, I, I want this to be able to be played out in turns because Fergar could die too. So. <laughs> Can I perception real fast before we leave to see if I hear what happened back there? Yeah. So I do. <laughs> I heard something happen behind. So yeah, you heard Fergar say what he said. And uh, with a natural 20, you also heard her say, I'm disappointed in your choices, Fergarg. And then, like, you hear combat. Because he's wearing chainmail and she's stabbing through it. So, like, <laughs> you hear the metal, like, grating and whatnot. Oh, shit. Right, <laughs> That's it, party kill. And the dragon just starts going back.
Oh man, good I time. I find myself at a crossroad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Okay, that's all the that's where the dragon get. All right, Vishla, you're gonna end this for the night. What are you and Cheryl doing? Oh, jeez. So, the first question is, does the dragon turning around and running the other direction have any effect upon Cheryl? Because I can't really make those kinds of decisions for her. No. Okay. Then she continues on. 5, 10, 15, 20, and she's going to... Uh, does she? Ha what weapons does she have? She doesn't have any weapons. But she, she's a druid, so she can use her cantrip. She has produced flame. She has thorn whip. I'll have to look um, this up. Are any of them damage dealing? Yeah, oh, produce, okay. produce frame will do, can do a d6 of fire damage. Thorn whip can do a d8 of slashing, I think. Basically, when against somebody who's already down, yeah. unless you do enough damage to equal their total max hit points, all that matters is they did damage. Yeah, she can just okay. punch him. Yeah, and do well, one damage, and it's the same. But she probably wouldn't. She'd probably thorn whip him, so... She thorn whips him. If you want me to roll it, I can, but basically he fails another save. Yeah. Well, so if you roll that, 20, it could result in two. Well, he only so. needs... or No, he's, he's got one of each, so yeah, you should roll it, because he's only got one... He's got one success and one one failure. I think if it's a 1d6. If you crit, well, if you crit no the attack, attack roll... You, you, uh, there's still an attack roll. It's a melee I'm attack thorn. for thorn whip. Okay, hang on. And if you crit, he takes two failed death saves. And he's dead. Yeah, it's a thir it's a thirty foot range whip that you can smack somebody with with a melee attack. Melee spell attack. So what would that be for her? So it's gonna be her. Uh, it's gonna be a plus wisdom. Yeah. So I'm trying to think of it. So she's got. Uh, it'd be a plus six. Not a crit. Oh. Yeah, I, I should also point out to you guys that, like, making it was the 17 sessions now and none of you have died, that's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> five Especially because I almost did, like, five times. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, so that's one more fa failed save for. Um, I mean, do you want to skip ahead and have him roll his last save? He would, um, go, he would go after Michael Christie. Honestly, guys, it's completely. I'm I'm not going to bed till eleven anyway, so it's completely up to you guys whether or not you want to keep going. But <laughs> I say we finish it. I'm I'm good with going. All right. All right. So and then Aaron. Finish it, I mean, finish. Right. Aaron, it's your turn. Uh, so since yeah, I have that, you need to actually resolve too because Fergar might have to make a or JJ might have to make a new sheep for next session too. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> So since I heard what happened from behind, I'm gonna be like, Burgog's in trouble. <laughs> you say that? Yeah. Okay. Because I oh, heard wait, what I didn't wait, wait, my turn. You, fro I didn't you, fro my turn. you froze on me. What did you say? Uh, Burgog's in trouble. I didn't take my turn. We have to and, fix that because that's official important. hasn't gone yet. Right. So, but that's before I say this. So he might be gone. I'm all the way in like two, two, three rooms away now. So I doubt I'm gonna hear you. But I don't know what hearing distance is. You can make a perception check. What if I don't want to? <laughs> then don't. Because <I'm> <laughs> you could be like, know. I hear it and I ignore it. <laughs> I don't know what I would do, but yes, you probably. would hear Aaron. You would hear Aaron say that the rest of you. There's no way you could hear him say it. Okay. Shit. Well, no, no, were really you scream? Were you, Aaron? Were you yelling it, or did well, you just say Fergar is in trouble? I, I would just say Fergar is in trouble. And I'd be screaming it, but here's the thing, is I probably wouldn't do that till my turn, and that would have been after Vishla had already gone. Right, but the rest of them should be able to make their perception check as to whether or not they hear it. Yeah. Hear you say it. So, um, Vishla yeah. definitely is going to hear you say it. The rest of you can make a perception check to see if you hear Aaron yell that as well. <laughs> Barrett I doesn't. Not. Probably wouldn't have <laughs> it anyway. Barrett is going to kill him. <laughs> No, Meridale, no! You're dead, it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, it would have been great if you actually did hear it and you just couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> uh, what about, uh, who am I missing here? I thought it was, I guess I'm not missing. This is proof that I'm unconscious. Alright, so, Aaron, what are you doing on your turn? Uh, I'm gonna move to, is, is back the direction I came, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
five with a dash action. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, he attacked me. He's an ogre. <laughs> Ogres have layers. She said, she said, she said, <laughs> okay, so make me. I say that. <laughs> MC, make a, make a persuasion. Asian oh, persuasion. I have one more advantage. I have one more advantage left for the day. Uh, don't fail me now. <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> 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 I have a plus five in it. Uh, Roll twenty just hosed you. So and all right. So it's Welcome not to my world. She's not gonna say anything more than that because it's not her turn. Aaron, uh, that was your turn. I can't do it. Baron, else. make your final. Or I guess it doesn't have to be your final. If you succeed on it, then it's not your final yet. And you failed it. So that is the end of Baron. <laughs> Oh. I feel so terrible. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't even think I've been in a game where a player has died. <laughs> I actually was just telling Joe this last night that I have never had a player kill another player in any of my games. So. Wait, would that be his last one? Because he yeah. he succeeded his first one, then he got hit with a second. Oh, and then Cheryl. Yeah, hit again. Cheryl right. did. So yeah. Sorry, Kevin. Dude, this has been a week for kills. Awesome. <laughs> They're not done yet. <laughs> but right. still has a chance that you can take it too. Joe, right. Joe, oh, Joe eat that corpse and, and absorb my powers. <laughs> <laughs> I I might take care of your puppy. Like I would appreciate that's that. a distinct possibility. <laughs> you probably take our money. How do you how do you oh. send whispers to somebody? <laughs> well, Joe, that solves that problem. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, so Beardil, it is your turn. Okay. Um. I am I looking at him and making sure he's dead and all. He looks and pretty I, dead. Okay. Then uh. He's like bubbling with poison, and has like thorn holes in him. Gotcha. Then uh, I start checking his pack for things. Okay. You're immune <laughs> to poison. Okay. So yeah. So make your investigation. Okay, natural 20. So I'll leave it to you and Kevin to discuss what Kevin has on him, but anything that Kevin has on him, you have access to. Okay. Bergarg. All right. It's, I got the good stuff. Make your make your first death save, Bergarg. Don't roll a one. Yeah. Right. Bergarg <laughs> succeeds on that one. And then it's her turn, and she's like, I'm sorry, Aaron, but... He betrayed us. And then she attacks Fergar. Is that two? Yep, that's a hit, so uh, that'd be two. Well, I mean, that's one. You, you've made one, so now you've, you've failed one and you succeeded one. Okay. And then she is going to... She's not going to move. Vishla. Oh, wait, 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 it's her turn, so the dragon needs to go. The dragon's gonna go right there, and that's all he does. Vishala. Hang on one sec. Um, okay, so Cheryl has completed her mission. She's very proud. So she's gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20... 25. I didn't tell her to loot anything, so she's back there. However, Vishala heard Aaron say that Fergar was in trouble, and after much soul searching over what my response to that situation would be, I'm going to dash backwards. Okay. Five, ten, I thought you would just ignore it and be like, I'm going to see where 30, this arrow looks. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Here's the thing Vishala doesn't have any idea why. So yeah. his assumption would be that, because he 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 wasn't like completely trusting of her, but he had no reason to distrust her. So probably the first thing that he would think, because he doesn't distrust Fergar, he thinks Fergar's pretty like squeaky clean. So his his assumption would be that she attacked him, and that she she was tricking us all. So he would run back. That's very something. All right, Aaron. 
so I would say that um, he's he's just a little out of control. We just need to give him some time. We just need to let him cool off, and I would try to do a medicine check to try and stabilize him. Is that okay? Are you trying to also persuade her to not finish him? Yeah, I guess I kind of am. So I gotta go one way or the other. Yeah. I would rather try to stop her from attacking him and and stabilizing the situation than I would be trying to like get hit to zero and just have her keep beating on him. Okay, make your persuasion. <sighs> okay. So she says, I see your point. I'll tell you what. If you take full responsibility for his actions, meaning that you will bear the same consequences as he will if he acts brashly again, then I will not finish him. <laughs> Evens I do, odds I don't. <laughs> it's a chaos mage. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Alright, so you're taking responsibility? Yeah. He says, very well. I will not finish the ogre. Oh. It's just a baby. He's a baby <laughs> ogre. So we don't have to continue in turns anymore. She's not going to attack. So unless any of you guys are going to go back and attack her. He's, he's, he's got one success, one failed, right? Yeah. Yes. So that means so, that by the time it comes back around to him, you'd be able to stabilize him and he'd be fine. Well back around to me, but he's still got to make another death saving throw. Uh, oh, I could so fail. I could natural... That is true. That is true. Okay, so... Alright, so... Uh, is dead. Sorry. Alright, cool. Alright. Baradil. Not your turn yet, Burgard, but we'll hold that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so, I'll just take his whole backpack with me. <laughs> okay. uh, but I, I like to think... I, I got a natural one, so I still don't have any idea something's up, so I'm just going at a regular speed back. Okay. Where, was like the, where was the puppy dropped? Uh, in that room. It was like pretty much right next. It's probably cleaning Baron's wounds right now. Oh, uh, okay. I will I'll um, take the puppy as well. He will growl at you. Oh. He won't stop you. He won't lunge at you, but like when you go to pick him up, he's like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. Puppy, you know what? Come. <laughs> Pop for now. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I guess I leave the puppy. So you, just for clarification, Joe, you just want the backpack. You don't care about armor, weapons, anything like that, right? Just I'm not wearing the armor. Yeah, I didn't pick up the weapons. Okay. Burgarg, make your you made your save yep. already. So you have two successes and one failure. Her turn. She abides by what she said. She will go back to her seat and sit down. The dragon will come in like there and sit mom. down. <laughs> dragon will come in there and sit next to her. Vishala. Um, Cheryl is running back. Well, she's coming back. She's not running. 5, 10, 15. Or wait, 5, 10, 15. 20, 25, I guess, there. Um, and then Vishala will come 5, 10, 15, 20, and ask Aaron, what the hell happened? Nothing. He he walked into a, in, into the door. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It doesn't look like he walked into a door. <laughs> Are you going to do anything, Vichela? No, I guess not. Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> uh, does he appear to be dying? Make a perception. Absolutely. Yes. I will stabilize him. Okay, make a medicine check. Or I will attempt to stabilize him. Can't remember, is it 10 or 15? I think it's 15. It's 15, I think. Dude, you can still die. Oh yeah. my god. Do it! <laughs> <laughs> May the odds be ever in your favor. Uh, 
uh, ten. It's so ten, so you stabilize them. All right. You're welcome. All right, so then we will end there. Fergarg has been stabilized. We made it all the way through initiative. Unless any of you guys are going to come and start attacking her or the dragon, then we'll Help. just exit out of that initiative and be done. <laughs> Not until I level and get some spells. <laughs> Not until Fergarg wakes up and attacks her again. <laughs> you got an hour, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, none of us would have leveled for this one, right? No. Uh, you'll be leveling at the end, or, well, at least... Colby, you will be re for sure leveling at the end of this one because I think okay. you were only like twenty or twenty-five. Seven. Yeah, you were very, you were very yeah, close. Twenty-nine away. Um, the rest I don't know. I assume probably because it's. I was the next closest. I think with five, like five hundred left to go. Yeah, I I'm not gonna level. Most of you are gonna be pretty close. <laughs> oh God, I've worked so hard to salvage that. <laughs> <laughs> Joe looks to have already left us. Hi, Joe. <laughs> oh, he said power flicker, and he's, his router's booting up. So yeah. Sorry, Kevin. GG. You and I, you and I will talk, and figure out what your next move is. Assuming you want to continue playing with us. Absolutely. Why would I not? Well, because you just got murdered by your friend. <laughs> So my my first character, which I was playing pretty piss poorly anyways, uh, got murdered by my friends. That doesn't mean that my second character uh, would not have a, a great time with you guys. We murdered Kevin. you based solely on your Kevin. You met first character ability. in this campaign, right? <laughs> yeah. I've never played World Twenty before, and this is the first time I've ever played Fifth Edition, so I don't really know what. Oh, first time with Five E. Okay. I thought you said and if it makes you feel any better, technically, the mystery guest is the only player that did any damage to you. The dragon did I most mean, of it. The, the dragon uh, fucking one-shotted me. Yeah, the the dragon got you. Well, you did roll like a seven on your save for a, for a, that was only I, an eleven to actually like roll. I can't help the fact that roll twenty hates me. Uh, but yeah, so the dragon took you down, and then Cheryl, who's an NPC. So Baradil is the only one who actually like assisted in your death from the players, yeah. and he's just a guest. Don't, don't pay no mind to him. <laughs> we have been, we have been prejudiced against the undead. No man, um, I will. Uh, so th I'm unfamiliar with this portion of it. So I guess I will create another another character. Are there any rules stipulations? Do I start at level one? Well, no, you're not going to be level one. We'll talk about it uh, through email and get it all settled up for you. Usually the house rules a level lower, but I don't know what Martin's gonna do. Kevin, or I'm sorry, uh, Colby and Joe, do you want to share any of the stuff with Kevin? That's that's up to Joe. I didn't know if that was still. Uh, yeah. Are there any words that you guys want to to tell Kevin about? Uh, yeah. Do you want me to do that by here with everybody? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> yeah, the, I guess. It, yeah. You guys might want to just like talk to Kevin later. Yeah. My next character won't seek revenge after you guys, I promise. Uh, Kevin, uh... Yeah, don't, don't meta, don't Kevin. Exactly. So. <laughs> I, but uh, I've already got an idea. Kevin, uh, I'm really looking at do, this assassin class. What, what you should do is come back in as Korga, the two-headed ogre giant that had sex with JJ on his solo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would feel so wrong about that. <laughs> <laughs> or come back as a kobold so that Colby can try to convince you to join his army. <laughs> try. <laughs> well, Kevin's not an NPC. You might have a harder time convincing a player to be your minion. Who says Kevin, I haven't I'll, started yet? Kevin, I'll, I'll email you about some stuff. Colby had me at hello. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that's that takes care of all that. We'll handle more next week. I mean, I've, got, I've yes. actually got to do a lot of thinking because I, I I knew Vishal was probably going to take the deal. The rest of you I wasn't so sure and I, I thought for sure that Fergarg wouldn't take it. I didn't anticipate him to like do the whole like soul thing and been like sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then when Aaron was like was going against it I was like okay well I've split the party like they're, they're going to have to sit here and really figure out like how they want to go about this. And they'll they'll come to a consensus. <laughs> and I imagine you're probably going to talk to Jason. 
there's a big question in my mind, which is what's what's Fergar going to do when he wakes up? Um, I yeah. Will, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, gonna, have, to, I'm gonna, gonna have to talk to. I got. A, I got an idea. I'm gonna talk to Martin. Well, and and Fergar, you got my last uh, message. Yeah, yeah, no, I did. So yeah, no, that's yeah. what I'm gonna talk to you about. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff uh, that needs to be resolved before next session. Plus, I have to rework a lot of my notes because I assumed you're going to tell her no. So now I've just changed my own campaign. Sweet. Yes, um, that's the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> the whole point. Um, but then, um, shortly after that, we will be finishing what you know. I break a lot of my games up into chapters, and this will be like the end of like this chapter. Um, and at that point, I'll probably like email you guys and ask how. You, how are you feeling about the game? I, I, uh, you know, and share my thoughts on it and see like what your all thoughts are and, on improvements and things that are good and stuff like that, just so I can make sure the game is going smoothly and fun, so that you're not wasting your whole Thursday night on something you might not be enjoying. Right. I like to think of my character as like a young Rob Stark, betrayed <laughs> by <laughs> friends. Hey, only, I, only with a lot less sex. I at yeah. least give you props, Kevin, in that you, you stood up for your beliefs. The similarity with Rob Stark is that he made dumbass decisions that led him to where he was. Whatever. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like, if, if he had a lick of sense. See, my thinking was, like, originally going through that, I was like, I'm lawful good. But then I realized I was neutral good, and I'm just like, hey, whatever's going to help me survive but still be good for the general populace, eh. I was like lawful neutral, so I'm like, dude, I. Dude, you know, there has to be a balance. Fergarg was the turning point, because honestly, I didn't anticipate Kevin to say no, because I, I remember that Kevin was lawful neutral, but I completely forgot about his background of hating dragons. So, like, I wasn't prepared for that. And so, like, as soon as he started asking the questions about, so you like dragons, huh? And I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to agree to this lady at all, because she's, like, obsessed with dragons. I was like, shit. But I thought I was still gonna be okay because I was like, Fergar is never gonna join with these people. Aaron's a wild card, literally, so I really didn't know where he was gonna go and I was like, Vishal's gonna be like, You're offering me all the wealth and power I can get my hands on? Why wouldn't I do this? And Baradil, I was just uh, you know <laughs> Yeah, I th actually thought that we were gonna be fighting Vishala and her, not <laughs> Not Kevin. Well, no. Kevin. There for a minute, I thought it was gonna be Vishala, and then Bardo was also going to, because like the moment that it switched to like talks about the soul, and she was like, "Yeah, I can definitely help you get your soul, and I'll put everything I've got to do it." I was like, "Well, Bardo will betray all these motherfuckers to get his soul." <laughs> so like, if they don't side on the same side, he falls on. He'll be like, "Well, okay." <laughs> I, I don't think you would have ever been. Side meta. I don't think you would have ever been everybody against mm -hmm. me. Um, I'm too self-preservation. If yeah. everybody was against me, I probably would have been like, okay, cool, let's take her out. <laughs> I could still take her power if she's dead. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> the issue is, I would be cool with fighting her if we had her spells. <laughs> Can I say was a closet that? alcoholic, and the reason he hates dragons so much is because it massacred his town, and it was his fault because he got drunk on watch and the dragon got past him. So there's a there was a deep seated hatred for dragons. Now the funny thing is, you guys literally have wiped out almost every creature that's inside this this guild hall, um, <laughs> and you Fuck. you didn't have to fight everything that was in here. Like I mentioned earlier, <laughs> like Mars, you guys were like making quite a bit of noise as you were going through here. Plus your your completionist natures are like, hmm, let's go and open every single door we can. Like <laughs> I was just trying to find the way out. In our defense, <laughs> I was looking for that guy, and there were doors that needed smashed. Uh, can I just say, though, that you guys are an awesome gaming group, because uh, at least two of you, like, did the thing that your character would very obviously do, even though you knew it would probably result in your immediate death. Because <laughs> a lot of players who will remain unnamed would be like, they would think of some way out of it, like, oh, I totally wouldn't do that. So, anyway, yeah. Ergarg yeah. was the one that I was like, ah, man, like, where is this gonna, like, how is this gonna actually fall for him, because... No, it's gonna end up in my death, like, it's... Not that well, my... This point, JJ, your death means my death. Yeah, I was gonna say... Well, I, well, let's... For you, so if you, 
if Mimsy gets a chance to talk to you before you go into your ogre rage, he could probably enlighten you to the fact that if you decide to, like, go and do something rash, that not only will you die, but they'll probably kill him, too. No, I actually, I'll have, I have some ideas, like, I got... There's going to be, either Fergarg's going to die, or there's going to be some massive changes to Fergarg. <laughs> oh, I was beginning to like that goofy ogre. <laughs> He's such an alcoholic. That's, he, well, that's kind of he, funny. That's kind of like what happened in that other session that Mike... Are you still carrying the cask of rum? Or did he finally drop that? Yeah. Well, yeah. What were you saying, Joe? It kind of happened in what? Ke Kevin, do you have me muted? Kevin, can you hear me? Nope. I think Kevin has me muted. Because <laughs> he was talking over me before. Yeah. I thought he was just being Ke a dick. Kevin, I think you have Joe muted because like, every time he goes to talk, you're talking and he you're not responding when he talks. Joe said, my mystery guest says the stream was unable to Hello? something. Uh, oh, you can't see me. Let me refresh the page. All right, so yeah. Uh, <sighs> I thought Joe left. I thought he was, I thought he was gone.